Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be solving for the value of x in this nice radical equation. We have square root of 3x plus 4 minus square root of x plus 5 is equal to 1. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I'm going to move this one to this side. Now the reason is that if I move this one to this side, the values that I will be dealing with will be pretty much smaller as compared to squaring each side straight away. And also, if you are not using a calculator, it is advisable to do this because the values will be pretty much smaller, okay? So let's get started. Square root of 3x plus 4 is equal to 1 plus the square root of x plus 5. Now I'm going to raise each side of the equation to the second power, okay? So from here, this one will cancel this. Now we have 3x plus 4 is equal to... Now let's expand this. 1 squared is 1, then plus 2 root x plus 5, then plus x plus 5, okay? So from here, I'm going to move those without a square root to the left-hand side. So we have 3x plus 4, 1 plus 5 is 6, so we have negative 6 here. Then x will be negative x, and this is equal to 2 root x plus 5. All right, so let's go ahead and then simplify this. 3x minus x is 2x. Then we have 4 minus 6 is negative 2, and this is equal to 2 square root of x plus 5. So from here we can factor 2 out. So we have 2 into x minus 1 is equal to 2 root x plus 5. Now let's divide each side of the equation by 2, okay? So that this one will cancel this. Now we have x minus 1 is equal to, then this one will also cancel this. So we have square root of x plus 5, okay? Since we want to find the value of x and this x is under square root, we need to square each side to remove the square root, okay? So we have this side squared, then this side also squared. Now let's expand this. We have x to the second power minus 2x plus 1 is equal to, then these two will cancel the square root, so we have x plus 5. So let's equate everything to 0. So I'm going to move the whole of this to this side, okay? So we have x to the second power minus 2x plus 1 minus x minus 5 is equal to 0, okay? So we have x to the second power, then negative 2x minus x is negative 3x, then we have 1 minus 5 is minus 4, and this is equal to 0. So from here, we will look for two values that when you multiply, you'll be getting negative 4, but when you sum them up, you'll be getting negative 3. And the numbers are negative 4 and then 1, okay? So this equation now becomes x to the second power plus x minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. So we have x here, x here, so we can factor x out. We have x into x plus 1. Then negative 4, negative 4, so we can factor it out. We have negative 4 into x plus 1, and this is equal to 0. So we have x plus 1 as the one of the factors, and then x minus 4 as the other factor, and the whole thing is equal to 0. All right? So at this point, we can say that x plus 1 is equal to 0 or x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now let's make x the subject from here. So we have x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So that this will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to negative 1. Then let's make x the subject from this equation as well. So we have x minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 4. Okay, so that this will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 4, all right? So these are the values of x. Now let's test and see which of these values satisfy the equation, okay? The equation is square root of 
3x plus 4 minus square root of x plus 5 and this should be 1 okay when x is equal to negative 1 we have square root of 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 4 is 1 okay then minus square root of negative x plus 5 is 4 and this should be equal to 1 square root of 1 is 1 then minus square root of 4 is 2 and this should be 1 okay so we have 1 minus 2 is negative 1 and this is never equal to 1 so we can say that x is equal to negative 1 is not a solution okay so x should not be equal to negative 1 now let's try this 4 and c so here we have square root of 3 times 4 is 12 then plus 4 is 16 minus the square root of x is 4 then plus 5 is 9 and this should be equal to 1 square root of 16 is 4 then minus square root of 9 is 3 and this should be equal to 1 4 minus 3 is 1 okay so as you can see the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so we can conclude that the value of x is 4. i hope you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching see you again on the next video